Back in the early days of television, everyone knew the old gold name. Old Gold Cigarettes presents Ted Mack and the Original Amateur Hour. Before 1937, hardly anyone had heard of Old Gold Cigarettes, and its owner, Peter Lorillard, had tried all kinds of gimmicks to light a fire under sails. There was a puzzle contest that finally struck a match, a $100,000 prize up for grabs. Today, it would be like offering $700,000 free and clear. At the time that the old gold puzzle contest appeared in newspapers across the country, there were very few giveaways that big. There was the Irish sweepstakes, a popular but illegal lottery run under the table, often over the bar. So when Old Gold urged you can win a population idle for years by unemployment, scrambled at the chance. There were 90 rebuses in all. Rebuses are elaborate cartoons harboring clues like this one. Ho plus race, ger, add an E and Lee, and you've got the answer. Journalist politician Horace Greeley. Millions wrestled with the puzzles, mailed the solutions along with 45 Old Gold rappers to Lorillard in New York. The headlines hit, a winner chosen, and by the time two million entries had been whittled down to 25-year-old Navy cadet William R. Staggs, America was hooked on contests. Money. 1983, the music is different. The unemployment lines look much the same. And once again, the country's gone contest crazy. won a quarter of a million dollars. And I hit the jackpot in Wendy's Casino Express sweepstake. Those 25 words or less in jingle contest began to decline in popularity 10 years ago, about the time state lotteries emerged. It seems like the quick and easy sweepstakes, like the instant win scratch off game cards, appeal much more than pouring over a puzzle or jingle. We won 23 flights, we won 100 cruises, we couldn't possibly have used everything. We gave some away, we used some ourselves, we sold some in many cases you can actually sell. My biggest prize, the most exciting prize, uh, was the pony that I won. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Do you have a contest for me? I'm Dean O'Lawley. In the old television series, The Millionaire, Michael Anthony used to pop up with a check from his mysterious boss, John Beresford Tipton, but those checks were just props. This will be the first time in my life I'm actually about to hand out the negotiable, honest to God article. Last July, a real check was presented to Robert Healy, a 45-year-old New York State tax arbitrator. Out of 3.3 million entries, Healy's was drawn in the Dr. Pepper Million Dollar Sweepstakes. There are thousands of entries that come from all over the country for each of these contests, but only a few will win. How do they do it? Robert Healy says he was just riding home on the train when he saw the Million Dollar Dr. Pepper Sweepstakes poster. He said he got a feeling he could win, so he entered and entered and entered. He entered 500 times, so Healy's $100 investment sure paid off. Now his only problem is sheltering the $40,000 a month he gets for the next two years. I won this in a contest sponsored by Family Circle. I won two rooms of carpeting, this and another room, when I wrote why I wanted a uh, brand of carpeting. Well, this is one of four refrigerators that I won. I sold the others. I only won two washing machines, but I did win a dryer. Can't win them all, but when Gloria Rosenthal and her contest clatch get together, it sure sounds like you can win. I won the second of a refrigerator, the refrigerator. and uh, Dorothy won the uh, a sink, a kitchen sink. They've been getting together for years, sharing sweepstakes secrets and contest clues. You have to pick up a package of Easy Foil and uh, uh, read on the back how many other products they make in the Easy Foil line, and it's 114, 114. 
so you don't have to go looking for it. I did that. Oh, good. Wait, I'm going to write that down. I didn't know that. They're a regular contest conglomerate. They used to say to my husband, oh, you could retire. And he said, yeah, last month all she won was an electric can opener. <laughs> I'm Dean O'Lolly. Inveterate contesters will tell you, you can't make a living by entering contests and sweepstakes, but you can make a living running them. Over 10 million entries for 100 contests pile up in Don Jagoda's agency, one of a dozen or so independent agencies that conduct contests for sponsors. You have to wonder, though, why so many people enter these contests when the chances of winning anything in any given contest are pretty slim. Just the opportunity to change your life, to change your luck, to become Cinderella queen for a day is what we're talking about in the sweepstakes in the game business. It was a simple business when Don Jagoda started 20 years ago. Today the Jakota agency grosses three million dollars a year as one of the top agencies in what is now a highly specialized growth business. These days the clients want to sponsor sweepstakes not skilled contests. The sweepstakes business is heading right to where that space shuttle is heading all the way up there sweepstakes are on the rise and they will continue to be on the rise because everybody likes the idea of getting something for nothing. Contest popularity has spawned some interesting spin-offs like the contest bulletin and the contest newsletter. They'll tell you who's sponsoring which contest, the rules, occasionally they'll even give you the answers. Now one of these newsletters is the largest selling newsletter in the world. It has 750,000 subscribers and that's telling sponsors something big. Other than saying hey, shopper, come over here, save 10 cents, you say. Hey, shopper, come over here, maybe you can change your life. Once the sponsor decided to make that offer, the contest agency shifts into gear. It tailors one of six basic sweepstakes to the needs of the sponsors, add promotion, and the sweeps are on. Entries flow in, are shifted into trays, thrown into a drum, and usually, without much fanfare, are drawn. Money! It's like the thrill of the chase. It's, it's the idea of winning. Winning, getting something free is what's important. And there's always that hope, you know, you run down to the mailbox. And, yeah, right, and, right. Uh, love the mailman. I'm Dean O'Lolly. There are so many sweepstakes running these days in the mail, in the supermarkets, and as one contester says... I can walk through a store, a supermarket, and they, they jump out at me. I'm, they're, they're right there. You, you know, I, I see them because I'm aware that I'm into contests and I need blanks and that there's always something new. So they, they seem to just shout at me, come and get me. <laughs> the trick is, to be, is being selective. Uh, it's better to enter one good sweep than a hundred bad ones. Jeff Sklar, a computer programmer, claims that he and his fiance Robin have won every sweepstakes contest they've entered because they've planned out a strategy. Jeff prefers the instant game cards. No purchase is necessary. You can write to the sponsors for them, and by law, the odds must be printed on the back. The sweepstakes here, $10,000 in prizes are being offered to the entire country over a span of eight months. That's $10,000 in eight months. This sweepstakes, this is the one run by Air Florida that we won. 
had seven million dollars in prizes offered over six weeks and only to the residents of six states. The contrast here is over is close to a thousand to one in the profitability of these sweepstakes. That's the key to being selective. Picking the best contest doesn't even get you halfway there. You still have to enter. And for serious sweepstakers, there is a method to the mailing. There's no magic number of entries. The regular will tell you at least 15 and as many more as you can stand to fill out. People say, why didn't you do more? It gets boring after a while. You can't, you can't do it forever. You listen to music and you can do it for a time, but you can't sit there and do 20 million entries. Since the judges pull a few letters out of each mailbag, send entries on different days from different locations. Some people decorate their envelopes wildly, trying to catch the judge's eye. But that could backfire. Most regulars keep it simple. Size up the contest, check the odds, make sure the prize is something you want or something you can sell. 40% of all entries picked from the drum are disqualified for not following the rules. If they say three by five cards, if the rules say hand print, nothing else will do. A lot of people say, oh, you're so lucky. And, and I know, and most of the time it's not luck, it's more than that, it's perseverance. Uh, I like what, what a lot of people say is, uh, boy, you are lucky. I never win anything. And I say, uh, what have you entered? And they say, nothing. nothing. <laughs> I'm Dean O'Lolly. I'm Dean O'Lolly. Join me for the Newsbreaker series Sweepstakes Strategy starting Monday on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference. I'm Dean O'Lolly. Join me for the Newsbreaker series Sweepstakes Strategy this week on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference. Everyone would like to win something for nothing. Sweepstake contests have become a nationwide pastime. Find out how you can become a winner, too. I'm Dean O'Lolly. Join me for the Newsbreaker series Sweepstake Strategy this week on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference. Sweepstake contests have become big business and it's become a nationwide pastime. From housewives to business executives, everyone wants to win something for nothing. Find out how you can increase your odds and become a winner. I like what, what a lot of people say is, uh, boy, you are lucky. I never win anything. And I say, uh, what have you entered? And they say, nothing. nothing. <laughs> I'm Dean O'Lolly. Join me for the Newsbreaker series Sweepstake Strategy this week on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference. Sweepstake contests have become big business and it's become a nationwide pastime. From housewives to business executives, everyone wants to win something for nothing. Find out how you can increase your odds and become a winner. I like what, what a lot of people say is, uh, boy, you are lucky. I never win anything. And I say, uh, what have you entered? And they say, nothing. nothing. <laughs> 
I'm Dean O'Lawley. Join me for the Newsbreakers series Sweepstakes Strategy starting Monday on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference. Everyone would like to win something for nothing. Sweepstake contests have become a nationwide pastime. Find out how you can become a winner, too. I'm Dean O'Lawley. Join me for the Newsbreakers series Sweepstake Strategy starting Monday on Action 4 tonight at 10. It's another Action 4 News Difference.